what's up you guys? I'm Clever Little Imp. Welcome back to Fuwagawa. <laughs> Welcome back to Spirit Bear. We're at Fuwagawa now. We're here. Let's go down. I needed to talk to you just for that. Apparently, the quest just advanced as well. Alright. And pretty much between episodes just went straight here, so you didn't miss anything. Let's look around. Mm hmm. Hmm. That's funny. Is it his cologne that I, s I can smell? This particular mix of musk and nonchalance? Mm -hmm. He must have been here recently. Quick, Munchkin, let's ask around. Okay. There's like so many people here, though. Mm. Giovanni? That name. Don't say that name. He almost broke up my marriage. Came here a month ago. Big man. Thinking he's the boss. Good thing my wife came to her senses. He apparently didn't like the weather. Good riddance. Okay. Apparently she's gonna be the first person I talk to every time. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Stella. I... Oh, dang it. Enough is enough. I'm done wasting my time. I won't be looking for that hoodlum anymore. I don't need him to be happy. I don't need to hear his stupid jokes and incessant yammering. I don't need to be suffocated by his floral cologne. I don't need to have him constantly showering me with praise. I don't need to see his flamboyant mane. I don't. I feel like you do. I... Let's go back to the boat, Munchkin. Feels like you want him back, though. Just saying. That does, however, kind of leave... Well, never mind. Got another letter. I was gonna say, that does kind of leave me with, like, nothing to do. Astrid, big news. You'll be glad to know that my sources have finally panned out. I heard my sister, Marsha... Masha. My sister, Masha might know something about your husband's whereabouts. You should go and drop in on her. Do you have something to say about that before I get the boat moving again? Yep, you do. That's not- I didn't want to ring the bell, everybody's already awake. Oh no, that was a very bad spot for you to have stopped in. Mm -hmm. I've heard we received another letter from Olga. Masha, you say? She's her sister. And she might know something about Giovanni's location? Huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Let's go talk to her, then. She mm -hmm. is... How to put it... Special. Me and her... Let's say we've never been friends. And Stella... Thanks for playing messenger. You're wonderful. At least she thanked me for all this. Alright, where's... Masha. Never heard that name before. I'm guessing I'm looking for a giant. Yep, turtle. Okay. Bus stop it is. Shoot, where am I? Alex is gonna get tired of us here in a minute. Would you stop showing up? He would never. Oh, a tool's working. Him and his little quack quack quack. He'd never stay mad at me. I'd never stay mad at him. I don't think that soil was all that dry. Sheep boings. I'll be right there, Alex. Hang on. Just finishing up. Right, we need way over here. Thanks, Alex. You the best. Turns out this is Olga, not Masha. 
Oh. Still on my stomach is rumbling. Sure, have an apple. Oh, thank you. I was quite hungry. Here's some peeled seeds I bought for you. Thanks. It's like these people want to eat every day or something. Yeah, I think that said Olga when it popped up, didn't it? Yeah, so that's not who I was looking for. How am I supposed to find Masha? Do I need the bog thing? Probably. Because I can't get through here because there's a fog barrier. Or no. Yeah, this one has the fog barrier, I'm pretty sure. So how do I find Masha? I mean, I'm gonna go see Olga. She would know. It's her sister. I got blanks. Are any of them ash? I could really use some ash blanks. Hi, Olga. Okay, she's coming. <laughs> it's like I'm pretty sure there's gonna be some kind of interaction here. I don't roll over my headphones. No, nothing to say. Ooh, you're starving. When's the last time I fed you people? Thank you, Munchkin. <laughs> Don't be afraid. You're so pretty, Munchkin. You remind me so much of how I used to be when I was younger. I used to wear a red ribbon in my hair, just like in the magazines. The boys always noticed me, you know. I could have had Tony, the barber's son. He was quite rich and had a red convertible. Or even Al, the ski champion. Oh, Al, he had the nicest mm -hmm. butt. But Giovanni. Ah, oh, Giovanni. Mm -hmm. Whatever I did, whatever happened, he always made me smile. His eyes looked like shooting stars. His hair smelled like morning dew. But enough mm -hmm. of this. Daydreaming won't give us nowhere. Let's do something productive. Aren't your crops in need of water? Hi. Oh. Let's harvest our resources. Aw. I got one the first try the other day. Um, when I recorded the last episode. So freaking proud of myself, and now I can't do it. Forgot I gotta replant stuff. What do I need? Sleep. Oh, I need more marble. Yeah. Let's plant that. Um, I think... I think I need slate. Not sure. Oak and maple. I'm gonna just. I think this time I'm gonna go with all mining stuff. Because I don't really need those two particular trees that I can plant right now. Thank you. Thank you. I might just put more quartz down. Power of Crusher. I don't know. I'm gonna do more marble. Excuse me. <laughs> My sisters and I have been traveling the season for ages. People of the ocean are in dire need of financial help. Did you know people have no savings? If you side with us, you're sure to earn more than you can your imagination can muster. We pay we play the market of logs and ore. In no time your investment will be doubled, even tripled. Just jump on my back. Invest in our sailing enterprise. Are you all alone there? Uh, or are you all done here? Sorry. <laughs> Alright. I'll see you later then. Bye, Olga. So how am I supposed to find Masha?
Yes, please, keep going into the middle of nowhere. Feed you real quick. Give you an apple. I want to check and see if I'm right about the barrier since we're over here. And we're just already so close to it. Because I know I need some kind of new tool or whatever. I got planks! Planks, get your planks! Made some planks for you, Sella. Enjoy! Oh, plank. Thanks. Could you make some ash planks, though? Because that is what I actually need. I was gonna do some cooking in between episodes, and then totally forgot about it. So... we're just gonna... not. <laughs> I'm gonna have to try and not feed them... Uh, all of my stuff here. Stop feeding the sheep! I don't know that we'll get to this barrier before, uh... It tells us we have to stop for the night. Probably won't. So it's rocks. So the other one must have been uh, fog. We haven't started any kind of quest to be able to do anything with the fog, so. Or the rocks for that matter. Because a tool has to like offer it to you, I think. That looks like fog. Actually. To be honest with you, I want to make a quick stop there. We're not going to make it in time. But, uh... There's still some stuff. There's a questionable resource that we can look at. So we'll do that. Uh, I wonder, can I... Oh. oh, it's just lightning in a bottle, though. I don't really want to do that right now. I'm asleep till morning. See if the ship will move while I'm asleep. See if this is a cheat to fast travel. Uh, no, it would appear like we did not move at all. Did we? Nope. And I should have turned safe travel on. I really don't want to do this. Storm! I really don't want to. I'm expecting us to have already been there. You know, Stella, as someone who lives near orchards, I have never seen someone um, collect fruit from a tree the same way you do. <laughs> Yeah, you don't like the rain, huh? Rain really ruins the day, doesn't it? No, it makes the day perfect. You're insane. Ah, they're fine. Is everybody just gonna hide inside? Oh. Uh -huh. I'm seeing visions of past meals I've had. This can't be a good sign. Oh, he's so sad. So do they get hungry at different rates? Uh -huh. Thank you, Skipper. This meal is nourishing. Uh -huh. Oh, this rain. Will it ever stop? I don't know. The boat sure did. Because I don't think we were here. I'm back in business. Oh, you are. Got a brand new shipment recently. Things are looking up for old Theodore. Go ahead. Take a look. that? Field seed sampler pack. A sampler pack of favorite field seeds. 
Wow, that's a lot though. Yeah, I don't have anything I need. I don't want to sell nothing to you neither. Cause I don't know if we fully explored this area. Hi. Dude, I can't wait for the for our next game. My friend Buck has been preparing a new game for us. I'm sure he'll tell us soon. Is that the D and D guy from the first? Uh... Can I get up here? Wait, for real? What's happening? Weird. All of a sudden, I can't get up there. Hmm. We won! Yes, you did. Good for you. Mm -hmm. Hooray! Mm -hmm. I stole the key from the boss's office yesterday. Our protest leader thought it would teach him a lesson. I won't give it up for mm -hmm. nothing. Maybe a little bag of glims. Let's say even a hundred. Mm -hmm. Up front. I, don't ha I do have a family to feed. Beautiful. Here it is. One key to the CEO office. Oh. Oh no, never mind. Mm -hmm. This lit up, so I thought that's what it was. Mm -hmm. Unions forever! And it won't even let you double jump on that thing, huh? Alright, so there's definitely... I can definitely get up here. I just don't know why I'm having such a hard time doing it. Take that, you capitalist pig! Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna eat two steaks tonight. I guess. See, she won't. Ah, there we go. What are you doing up here? Mm -hmm. I'm picking up some more. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Munchkin. Mm -hmm. Has it been longer than I thought? Because you only have to like check in on them every other day, and now they're all starving. Well, not starving per se. I mean, that one dude was starving. Anyway, we got the key. Thanks for unlocking the door. I actually just went in the corner there. The one that I'm standing in? Are you serious? Sorry for the smell. Here's a little something for your troubles. Those damn protesters. I mean, workers. I have to get used to that. I got a thousand glimps for that. Let's see what's this way. Ooh, there actually is something. Sugar cane. sure I got what I needed, though. Let's just double check. I mean, since we're here and all, you know. Oh, is this an elevator? Oh, it is! Nice. chandelier. Bet Susan would like that. So I say, am I insane? Can I not use this? I don't know where I'm going. It's off the screen apparently. Alright, 
Well, I'm gonna say that's probably it here. For now, anyway. So glad I stopped to talk to you people. Alright. Onward to where we were going. I'm pretty sure that is a fog barrier. Which means we would have opened up like all the edges of the map. And we just can't go through anything else. Unless there's something like in here. Like if this curves that way. I could see another island being like over here. I might actually just go around the borders and trace them, you know? Oh wait! Masha! Okay, so she's on the map now. I kind of want to change directions. And also, Olga? Is ready? I'm just, yeah. I'm just gonna go back for Alex, actually. Alright, I will see you when we get to Masha. Mm -hmm. As I told you, Masha and I never really got along. She's a tried and true blabbermouth. And no, not the funny mm -hmm. kind. And yes, much worse than me. I never took pleasure in destroying other people's lives. On the mm -hmm. contrary. Alright. I should be able to pull off a little bit of acting here. Let's see if I can fake it. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Masha! Good to see you again, old hag. You've retired much... You've retreated much further than I thought. How are you doing these days? Well, well. If it isn't Astrid. I've never been this nice. You've never been this nice to me before. Did Olga send you? Should I assume you'd need a favor? If it's a scarf, sorry, honey, but I've just given the last one I needed to a lovely chap up on the mountains. But I still have some winter socks if you're interested. That's nice of you, but. That won't be necessary. No, thank you. Stella here welcomed me on her boat and made a wonderful house for me while we were cruising mm -hmm. the oceans. All my needs are met thanks to this wonderful young lady. Actually, it's information I'm after. Darling, have you heard anything about Giovanni? Mm -hmm. I know it's silly, but I'm still looking for my lazy husband. Olga said in a letter you had a lead on where to find him. Oh, I did actually. But Astrid, you know I'm not in the business of gossiping. Olga, maybe. And I won't talk about Arena. But me? Oh my, never. Remember when I inadvertently mentioned to Sir Brogwood how his wife had met with his cousin in the lower garden? Or when Miss Fredericks confided in me the secret of her foreign lover? You don't? Exactly. That's because I've never told no one. Mm -hmm. Oh, Masha, darling, that's true. But what do you make of Sir Langdon's spat with his wife? All because someone blabbered about his mistress to Mrs. Langdon's mm -hmm. maid. Oh, and what about that time when little Bobby accidentally discovered who had killed his pet bird, Zachariah? Oh, oh. And what do you think of all the ruckus caused by the discreet revelations that Miss Gardner's secret stash of fine liquor? Mm -hmm. I could go on and on and on, honey. I... But... That was a different... Mm -hmm. Where is he, Masha? Oh, well, okay. He's in Loneburg. He hooked up with someone. I don't know the details. Wasn't so hard now, was it? Thanks a lot for helping me out, Masha. Your kindness is, a gi is as gigantic as your forehead. Mm -hmm. You did the right thing, and I won't forget it. Who knows, you might even receive a crate or two of freshly threaded wool in a couple of weeks. And Stella here might need your mm -hmm. services. I'll leave it to you. See you soon, Masha. God, I hate her mm -hmm. stupid face. I'm out of here. Hi, Masha. Be a deer. That's it? No. 
I'll wait here a little longer until we finish that. Oh, it's just gonna be the same stuff, huh? Alright. Well, I mean, I don't really need anything. As I sit here and plant things. What am I even planting? Quartz? Probably should have been planting marble. Stella! You scared me and I fell off your back. Ah! Fell off the ship. How did that happen? You took your sweet time, right? Are you done? Yep. Alright. I'll see you later then. Bye, Masha! I was about to say, are you, uh, you actually gonna leave there? You have anything to say now? No? Alright. And there it is. She has never been nice. Running her mouth like that? She's the mean one of the bunch. But enough about her. Thanks for bringing me here, Munchkin. So Giovanni is in Loneburg. Well, he usually hates winter. Let's go find him, Munchkin. Sure. So apparently that's all I do nowadays. Alright, well I'm not gonna make you sit all the way through night. So, oh wait! Um, I was fishing on the way here and I caught a message in a bottle. Help me, I'm lost at sea. Hopefully this bottle reaches your your friend. Here's my location on the map. Five and negative eleven. Okay. I'll have to remember that. Let me back up with you when it's daylight out. Okay, so we're about to disembark for Lundberg. We're here. Let's take a look. I don't know why I gave her that voice just then. That's definitely not her voice. Not that I've been consistent with any of these voices, to be fair. Stella. Mm -hmm. He's been here. I can feel it. I won't mm -hmm. beg. But if you could... Oh, come on. You know what to do. I do. Cabbage, cotton, glass, and metal rope. No. I'm good. Thanks, though. Oh. Oh my! Aren't you the cutie pie, Bambina? I'll call you Peanut. Like a cute little peanut pie. Is that a thing? I've heard of peanut butter pie. Is peanut pie a thing? What? You're looking for someone named Giovanni? Huh, about that. Bambina doesn't surprise me one bit. I mean, who isn't looking for me? I'm Giovanni. Leon from from mid from uh, sorry to break it to you though, but you're a bit young for me. What? Astrid, you say? She's with you in your lovely boat? Say no more. Here I come. Well, that was easy. Can I take you in the opposite? Oh, I can take you in the opposite direction. Uh, apparently I already knew that, though. <laughs> he what? Is on the... Mm -hmm. Right. He walked right... Okay. Just like that. No fuss. Mm -hmm. Really? He must really... He must be really desperate. Let's go back. He's... Right there. You're standing in front of him. He's here. Mm -hmm. Well, don't just stand there. Welcome him aboard, Stella. Mm -hmm. I was going to. Oh, I like your voice. Mm -hmm. Giovanni. Astrid. Oh, Astrid. You look good. Mm -hmm. Always. And you look splendid too, princess. Mm -hmm. Astrid, I was looking for you. Everywhere I went, you were not there. Honey, my life is empty without you. 
The air tastes like dust. The ground feels wobbly. The stars are gone from the sky. And no one is here to scratch my back. I even had to buy a back scratcher. You know, the wooden ones with a little plastic hand on top. Mm -hmm. Stop it, Giovanni. I haven't forgotten what you did. I will never mm -hmm. forget. He cheat on you? But... But... Mm -hmm. But I'm willing to forgive you. Only if you promise to behave. Can you do that, Giovanni? Can I trust you this time? Or should I forget about you right here and now? Hmm... Yes! Oh yes, my princess! Have my back and I'll show you how trustworthy I can be. I will shower you with gifts and never take the slightest peep at other women ever again, he did she. Heavens, I'll even stop looking at other people! You have my word. Alright. Alright, you bonnikins. But you're still on probation, mister. If I ever see you doing something fishy, I'll kill you. You hear me? Now come here. I have so much to tell you. Mm -hmm. Giovanni and I have a few things to settle. You don't need to babysit me for a while. I'm sure you've got better things to do than to watch two ancient lovebirds reconnect. Mm -hmm. I'll talk to you later. Yeah, I definitely don't want to see two of anything connecting. Um, you know, especially if they have a pulse. Anyway, I'm gonna leave this episode here. Um, and make my way over to Susan, because apparently she's got something for me. So I guess I don't need to constantly check. It'll just let me know when there's something over there to collect. Anyway, leaving this episode here. Leave me a like if you enjoy it. Comment down below, subscribe for more, and I'll go talk to Giovanni next time. Bye, y'all.